My name is Lourdes. I am Bobby David. My name is Fatima. I am Maida. My name is Sophia. Fatima Muzo. My name is Manenewe. My name is Lakshmi. My name is Zia. My name is Mary Martin. My name is Juliet. I am I a force of nature. I am 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 a force of nature. And I am a force of nature. When I was little, I never saw any women, forget Indian women, um, in my textbooks or curriculum or anything. And so I decided that when I was old enough, when I was a ninth grader, that I wanted to make a change. And so I'm here to empower younger girls to do the same thing. And for future generations, this morning we're introducing you to a Virginia teenager bringing new attention to women who are often left out of the history books. The high schooler developed her own curriculum for elementary and middle school students to recognize the accomplishments of women with an emphasis on women of color. I think my the reason that this has all become so popular is because it's really hard for anybody to make a change and I think especially for younger women to make a change, especially younger women of color. It's really difficult to question an entire school district, entire curriculum and education system, but that's what I did and that's what WARE was started for. I started as a 15 year old to write women back into history amongst other ways to fight for gender equality and so I think it's something that nobody realized that we actually could do. Well my favorite example is always Sybil Ludington because she was also a 16 year old who did a extremely similar message to Paul Revere who's known as the messenger of the Revolutionary War. But Sybil Ludington was a 16-year-old who rode over 40 miles across states to say that the British were coming. So she did a remarkable thing, but we only learn about Paul Revere in our standards. She's so <laughs> cool. I love her. <laughs> There's the cliche that, of course, we learned from our past mistakes, which I think is very evident in our current issues. And I think that it's also important because otherwise, when people grow up, they start to disregard women's contributions. So when especially young girls don't feel empowered by their history, when they grow up, they continue that framework of thinking. And when that happens, we start to see laws and regulations that harm women and harm girls across the country and across the world in general. And we start to see systems cementing into place that end up oppressing and suppressing the voices and representation of women. I think if you see something that you realize misrepresents or is a lack of representation for you, then do something to change it. It is very scary to step up to the light when you're especially a younger girl, but I think that's when you have the most power and when your voice can be the loudest, so you have to use it then. I am Prasiddha Padmanabhan and I am a force of nature. I don't think one image can change the world, but I definitely think that you make little cracks in the foundation. Great photographers can make those pictures that speak to the light in a person's eyes. What I feel intensely now is this desire to focus on the frame, the moment, the person, the relationship, and what that person can teach the rest of us. My name is Annie Griffiths. My name is Lynn Johnson. My name is Amy Vitali. engineer in the first place because I had two fantastic physics teachers in middle school and high school. Both were women, both went to MIT, and just from the moment I met them, I, I knew I wanted to be exactly like them. They were this like base case, this existence proof for what I wanted to be. And it just 
set up this absolute love for science and engineering and making things that people could use. So I ended up starting my first company, Transatomic Power, that was making safer nuclear reactors that would leave behind less nuclear waste than existing designs. We thought that if we could solve the nuclear waste problem, we'd be able to bring into being this fantastic new power source that could help improve people's lives worldwide. Leslie the One is one of the young entrepreneurs leading this atomic revolution. It's a new generation focused on powering the planet while addressing climate change. Yeah, because that's what I'm hoping. But her will is being tested as Transatomic Power had to shut down operations when they couldn't bring their reactor design to scale. I'd say overall, I think that perseverance and being able to learn from failure is one of the most important parts of being an entrepreneur. There are times when things are just exceptionally, exceptionally hard. And, you know, it's not like this pretty stylized, glossy movie version of hard. It's something that just like can really get you down in your soul. Like, especially when you're, you're feeling especially vulnerable and you don't know what to do and you just have to find a way to get through it, to persevere, and to learn what you can from it, and to keep moving. And then when you're trying something that's different from the norm, there's inherently a huge chance of failure. The two of them go hand in hand. And then after we made the tough decision to shut down my previous company, we decided that instead of you know, chopping it up for parts, selling it off to the highest bidder, we would instead open source the technology and put our reactor design out in the public domain so that anyone who wanted to could use it and develop it and adapt it. And people started doing that. It actually worked. And it's something that was just so gratifying to me and made me so happy that, you know, even though I personally wasn't able to get this specific technology to market in the way that I initially imagined, it's it's still being used and it's still providing value to people. If I were to give advice to my middle school self, I would say it's going to be hard at times. At times it's going to be harder than you can really even imagine right now. But remember that you have and you will have the capacity to make it through. So what I would say is think big and take risks. I'm Leslie Dewan, and I'm a force of nature. El imaginario que vos tenés de tu vida es, sos mujer, te vas a casar, vas a tener hijos. No me imaginé que a mis 25 años yo estuviera aquí, que yo pudiera ser una líder. Pero eso no es la realidad de toda la gente, de todas las niñas, o sea, papás y niñas que no estudian. Niñas que se quedan cuidando a sus hermanitos. O niñas que ni siquiera hacen nada. O sea, una niña que no tenga sueños o que no tenga ideales, que no quiera hacer nada de grande, eso es terrible. Duele. Duele ser mujer. Go Joven Guatemala nace primero por la necesidad de tener espacios para participar. Y luego, nosotros que específicamente trabajamos con derechos sexuales y derechos reproductivos, 
somos una familia, así nos definimos, somos diversas, cada quien compone un mundo hermoso que lo presenta a las demás personas y eso lo trasladamos en el trabajo que hacemos. Estamos facilitando algo que el Estado no está haciendo con otros recursos y también devolviéndole la responsabilidad a la institucionalidad, porque así debería ser. Un hombre a los 16, a esa edad todavía dependen de los padres, no tienen la responsabilidad como para este, atender a otras personas. Su mamá hace hasta los 2015 la edad que se tenía para que se casaran en las mujeres se podían casar a los 14 años y los hombres a los 16. Cuando hablamos del tema de derechos humanos, se considera que una niña a los 14 años no tiene la plena conciencia de que es casarse. Somos un equipo de mujeres que vamos a las comunidades y que estamos haciendo el trabajo. Yo voy a seguir trabajando aquí para romper esa historia de vida, ese ciclo de violencia de este todo. Recibí un mensaje de una amiga y me dicen, mira, te llegaría a ir a la Asamblea General de Naciones Unidas en Nueva York en septiembre. Yo, obvio, sí. <risa> me invitaron para poder compartir el trabajo que tenemos con Go Joven. Would you like to talk a bit about, about your story? I started to be in spaces where I learned about my rights. Other possibility, women can study, not just as a privilege, to realize that it's a right. Nos preguntan, ¿qué se puede hacer? Vamos a tener más niñas empoderadas, más niñas felices, más niñas jugando, saltando, riendo, educadas. Tener más chavos, chavos empoderados. Yo regreso de Nueva York, voy a Guatemala y ya tengo un listado de correos que hacer. La vida continúa. Hay que seguir peleándonos con las autoridades. Hay que regresar y también seguir aterrizándonos a hacer cambios. Yes, the Charlie XTX and Sonica 106. Nueve, dos de la tarde con 14 minutos. Hoy tengo la cabina llena, pero así uh, llenísima. Hay mucha gente por acá. Hoy se conmemora el Día de la Niña y por eso eh, las chicas del Go Joven dijeron, ¿sabes qué, Andrea? Como que nos gustaría visitarte ese día para poder platicar contigo. Y yo dije, ¡sí! <risa> Así que aquí está yo Sí hay un gran cambio de querer ser escuchada a ser escuchada. Y eso te lo da el empoderamiento y es genial porque permites que hablar y que te escuchen. Y reivindicar que ellas... Son niñas y tienen derecho, derecho a reír, derecho a ser niñas y a no ser madres, a no enfrentar, digamos, otras situaciones que las pone en riesgo. Okay, nos vamos a ir con más música, vos no te despegues de Sónica 1069 que vamos a regresar para platicar con vos del Día de la Niña y por qué es importante conmemorarlo. Yeah. Gracias, Andrea. Yeah. ¿Cómo te sentiste? ¿Tu primera vez? Sí. Sin duda tenés poder. O sea, eso simbólico de la palabra te da poder. Que sos escuchada, que sos consultada. Es genial. Este 11 de octubre, el Día Internacional y Día Nacional de la Niña, decimos, las niñas de Guatemala no se golpean, no se violan, no se maltratan, no se queman, no se matan. Vos sos un referente para las comunidades. Vos sos una persona que viene como líder, entonces es 
devolverles a ellos, hacia ellos parte de lo que me Finalmente en la canción dice cuántos años te vas a casar, pero queremos darle otra persona. Una, dos, dos, tres. Niña bonita, dime de cuántos años casas tú. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Y si ayudas a alguien es satisfactorio, luego es decís... Yo logré cambiar la vida de esta persona. Yo logré aportarle a la vida de esta persona, como así también en un momento lo hicieron conmigo. Que hayan más Jocelyn, que hayan más, no sé, Laura, que hayan más, más chavas y más niñas empoderadas. Eso es chile. My name is Lourdes. I am Bobby David. My name is Fatima. I am Mayra. My name is Sofia. Fatima Muzo. My name is Manenewe. My name is Lakshmi. My name is Dia. My name is Mary Martin. My name is Juliet. I am I a force of nature. I am 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 a force of nature. And I am a force of nature.